Good evening, I'm Jim Axelrod. It is a gruesome scene we've now seen at least half a dozen times. ISIS militants again posted a video online today that purportedly shows the beheading of a hostage. This time it was a journalist from Japan who was brutally murdered, a man named Kenji Goto. Goto had been held captive since October when he had traveled to Syria seeking the release of another Japanese hostage, Haruna Yukawa. Yukawa was executed a week ago. Charlie Daggett reports now on the failed negotiations to free the two men. To the Japanese government. Time apparently ran out for Japanese journalist Kenji Goto. The purported ISIS video addressed the people of Japan. This knife will not only slaughter Kenji, but will also carry on and cause carnage wherever your people are found. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe condemned the apparent killing, saying he would never forgive these terrorists and they would be brought to justice. There had been some hope Goto's life would be spared. This week, his fate became intertwined with another ISIS prisoner, Jordanian pilot Muaz al Kasesba, captured last month after his jet crashed during a bombing raid over Syria. ISIS had offered to release Goto in exchange for a would-be Iraqi suicide bomber held in a Jordanian prison, Sajida al-Rashawi. Jordanian officials were ready to agree to swap prisoners, but they wanted their pilot freed too and demanded proof that he was alive before any deal could be struck. That ISIS deadline to meet their demands ran out on Thursday night. Journalist Kenji Goto had been reporting on the war in Syria when he vanished last year. He had returned to the country to rescue Hirana Yukua, a friend who had described himself as a private security contractor before his disappearance last August. Both men turned up in an ISIS video more than a week ago, with militants demanding $100 million each for their release. Yukawa is thought to have been executed after that deadline ran out. If the video is authentic, it's unclear when Goto met that fate, too. The 47-year-old journalist is the father of two young daughters, Jim, a two-year-old and a newborn. There's no word tonight on the fate of the Jordanian pilot, but an uncle is quoted as saying that the family is devastated by the death of Kenji Goto. Charlie Daggett in our London newsroom tonight. Charlie, thank you.